everybody. Thank you for watching Practical Pearls. My name is Ashley Tambrin. Today I want to talk to you about persecution. Now, if you're like me, you think of the word persecution and it doesn't necessarily apply to you. It's kind of like, okay, that was something that maybe happened to people a long time ago in a different age, or that happens to people overseas in countries that aren't as blessed as ours and don't have as many freedoms. But I want to maybe put a twist on it so that you can see that really we all suffer persecution. Um, the Apostle Paul wrote many letters um, in the New Testament to the churches that he began. And he wrote a few letters to a man named Timothy who was like a son to him, he said. The Apostle Paul never had children, and so Timothy was almost like his child. And in the last days of Paul's life, he wrote to Timothy and just encouraged him and basically gave him some of the very last things he wanted to leave in his legacy to this earth. So one of the things in the second letter he wrote Timothy in 3.12 is that he says, all who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. We know the Bible is transcendent. It transcends time. So to us believers, it's kind of like, wait a minute, it said all will suffer persecution? <laughs> Those who believe in Christ Jesus? So that began to get my wheels kind of turning, like, okay, what does that mean? And really, when I began to think about it, I think that for a lot of us, it applies to our social lives. Social persecution, I think, is very relevant. When I looked up the word persecution, one of the definitions was to press on or any type of oppression. Well, I don't know about you, but any time you believe in something in this day and age, you have to defend it. Whether it's your religious belief system, your social belief system, maybe it's how you think politics should go, but it's a belief system. And today, for you stating your opinion, if it's out of line with maybe what the social norm is, you are going to definitely suffer a social persecution for it. And so that right there made me begin to pull other things into question. I'll give you an example. You talk about marriage. I'm a person, I'm you know 35, I've been married for 10 years, and marriage is not easy. Now, you will reap the massive benefits of marriage if you're diligent and you stay with it. But there's a lot of people, even Christians and people that believe that you know divorce should not be something you go to as a first option, that will advise you in your hard times, you need to leave them. You, you need to get a divorce. And I'm sure it's on the other side. I'm sure maybe my husband at one point or another heard that. You know, or I have friends that I've spoken with, same situation. It's like you're going through a hard time and the, the pressure that you receive from, oh, well, you need this and you deserve this and your rights are this and you should think this, that comes upon you when really what you're trying to do is hold steadfast to something that you believe in. You believe that God created marriage for a very specific purpose and that you are supposed to stand firm on what you believe. Now, maybe for you, that's not marriage. Maybe that is something else that you are deeply fighting for and you are giving your all to stand for. And you are suffering persecution for those of those that don't believe. Maybe it's a promise that only you can see through spiritual eyes. It's not something that you can see naturally. You haven't seen the harvest. You haven't seen that job come through. You haven't seen that financial breakthrough. You haven't seen that relationship go to the next level. But you believe that your God has given you a promise for it. And so I would say, friend, hang in there. All persecution, pers excuse me, persecution will happen to all of us. But you stand firm in the things that you know in your spirit that God has promised you. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. It means so much to me. I hope that this blesses you. I hope that you will watch other videos. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Visit our website. See some other videos. Peruse them like a buffet and see if you like anything or that it helps you. Pass it along to a friend. Visit us on Facebook and like us. Again, thank you so much. I hope you come back and visit us again.